What's up, y'all? It's your girl Aria, and guys, today we're gonna do a short Q and A. So, if you're not familiar, guys, I just wanted to let you guys get to know me a little bit more, lang naman. So, I'm gonna ask you on Facebook or on YouTube, kung ano yung mga questions that you wanted to ask me, so that we can get to know each other better. So, it's like an updated Q and A, to. Because I've been on YouTube na ako for huh more than six years, na. So, nice to meet you all. Let's. Let's go! So yung tanong ni Vince Harold Alindongan, tinanong niya ako na, How old are you? 23 years old na po ako. At mag-24 sa June 18. And someone also said, I wanna know kung ano po yung height mo. 5 foot 6 ako. Okay, it's mahirap maanap ng lalaki na mas matanggad kaysa sa akin. Especially dito sa Pilipinas. But, yes. 5 foot 6 ako. So, I have a question here from Andre Mendoza de Omampo and kay Jeremiah Keith. The question they ask is, why did you bake and bake? And how did you learn to cook? Po. Actually, when I was a kid, my dad would always teach me how to cook. I was always in the kitchen. When I cook, I was always there. Like, I'd help him make the sauce, I'd chop it, I'd mix the ingredients. So, it was just natural for me in the cooking, guys. I just wanted to make my own dishes then. So, I just searched the recipes online and I just made it. So, I really like to eat and eat. So, guys, if you haven't seen my video on Hangry Management videos on IG, okay, look at that. It's also linked in the description and in the pinned comment. So, the Hangry Management is shorter than 5-minute videos about cooking, and all of the recipes are super duper easy. So if you want to try it, okay, go, go, go. And tag me so I can see what you did. There are a lot of messages to me about streaming and gaming. Actually, if you don't know, guys, I actually started streaming in March 22, 2020. So a little bit over two months I just streamed. But actually, guys, I've been in this industry for almost 10 years. Or 10 years na nga eh. So I started vlogging nung 13 years old pa ako. So, uh, nagbablog ako sa Tumblr, sa WordPress. Then nung 16 or 17 years old ako, nag-start ako ng YouTube channel. Tungkol siya sa drawing, sa art, sa fashion. Pero nag-stop ako sa college nung naging mga 18 years old ako kasi nagsimula ako na maging MTV VJ. And I'm sure ang dami nung kina sa akin sa Viva TV. So, host ng OPM I Love. So, ayun. Nag-VJ ako. So, hindi ko masyadong nag youtube Tapos yung 2018, a lot of people knew me dahil sa one-minute videos ko or yung hashtag Ariana in a minute video. So, puro one-minute or under tutorials ng makeup, ng skincare, ng travel. So, makikita mo yan sa IG ko din if you wanna see it. Kumuha ako ng one video every day for parang 100 days. Tapos parang may extra five pa pagkatapos niyan. Ang <laughs> dami kong mga videos. So mahilig talaga ako mag-edit ng sarili kong videos and making content sa lahat mga social media platforms. So I only started streaming two months ago kasi mahilig talaga ako sa mga online games. At nung start ng quarantine, yung lockdown, ECQ, wala akong ginagawa sa bahay. So my friend even suggested na mag-stream na lang ako. So I really had to study and learn how to stream for mga two weeks trying to figure it out lang. Yung mga first days ko, nakakahiya siya. But I'm so happy to be doing what I'm doing now. Sabi ni Angela Monterola Gavina, was live streaming always in your plans before? Sana mapansin, Lods. Happy face. Uh, hindi naman. Actually, a lot of the things na ginawa ko, hindi ko sila pinaplan. Like, serendipitous lang siya. Parang coincidence na lang siya. Minsan may idea ako, tapos ginagawa ko siya right away. So, hindi ko na-expect magla-live stream kasi some of my friends are live stream sila, pero ng ibang games naman. At pinapanood ko din yung mga local ML players, pro players. But only recently, I really felt na gusto ko mag-stream dahil stuck talaga lang ako sa bahay. Yun lang naman talaga. <laughs> Sabi ni MR Campos, bakit mo naisipang mag-live stream? Mm, love ko talaga ang ML, guys. And sanay talaga ako sa harap ng camera. Kasi nag-host ako, nag-VJ ako, may YouTube channel din ako. So I already thought na I think it would be another fun way of sharing yung passion ko, which is video games. Sa so, totoo lang, mas mahilig ko sa mga PS4 games, yung favorite games. So parang Persona 5, Horizon, Uncharted, Nier Automata. And, and dami kong gusto guys, Tekken. But I think 
for me is, especially sa time na to guys, I know it can be pretty lonely. Especially kung naka-lockdown tayo or stuck lang tayo sa bahay. So it's my way of connecting and getting to know you guys din. Sinasabi ko lagi to sa stream ko guys is, hindi ko ginagawa yung stream na to para sa views, sa followers, sa pera. Like, for me, I enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, that's the one that I enjoy. So, as I said in the stream, we are just GB here. Guys, no trash, no bullying. Respect here in the stream. Because that's really what's important is getting to connect with your audience. And you know that the viewers of my own, when we were 10 to 20 viewers in the stream, and now, over 100, 300. Tayo sa stream. I just have fun talking with you guys. So, sana naman sasali kayo sa mga streams ko Monday to Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. sa Facebook page ko. Makikita mo naman yung link sa description below so you can check that out. And let's just have fun! Let's hang out! Lahat ng custom, classic, arcade, rank games. Kasama ko lang yung mga viewers ko kasi wala akong streamer friends or people who want to play with me. So, usually nagsasolo ako or kasama ko yung mga viewers ko. So, yes, I really care about yung community and connecting with you guys. Sabi ni Friends and Delices, bakit ka po lumipat sa pag-stream? When did you start streaming? So, nag-start ako March 22 this year lang. I think kasi I would always play ML every day at feeling ko ang saya ng oras ko. Feeling ko hindi ako productive. So, kung mag-ML ako, I might as well stream din. Diba? <laughs> Sabi ni Jean Lloyd Bernabe, tatlong bagay na gusto mong gawin pagkatapos ng quarantine. Number one, gusto ko na magpagupit. Eh, jo mahaba na yung hair ko. Gusto ko na parang hanggang dito lang siya, guys. Next, magpapamanicure, pedicure. Alam ko parang ang arte, but guys, that, that's what makes me feel pampered and loved. Do I love yourself muna? Lastly is hanging out with my friends talaga. I miss ko sila. Like, okay, sige, nag-zoom kami, nag-Facebook chat, nag-Facetime, but parang may kulang, di ba? Unless you see them in person. Sabi ni Blake Tristan Secre Lavinia, aside from gaming po, ano pa po na enjoy mong gawin? At pa-shoutout na din. Thank you, Blake, for that question. Aside from gaming, I really, really love watching Netflix shows. Malig ako sa music, sa classic rock, and alternative rock. Um, I love to read talaga. I love books. At malig talaga ako magluto at mag-bake. Sabi kong interests, guys. Malalaman mo yan sa stream ko. I love playing the guitar. Also, nag-upload nga ako ng jamming video. So, usually sa huli ng stream ko, after yung mga rank games, may mapa-cool down tayo. Kasi, di ba, nakaka-stress yung rank games. Especially kung nag-losing streak ka. So, kailangan ko ng, like, chill vibes. I love playing the guitar. So, tinanong ni Ray Maria, ilan taon ka na po natuto mag-gitara at kumanta? Hindi ako marunong kumanta. Sinabi ko sa iyo, guys, sakto lang yung skill ko sa pagkanta. Yung, yung pwede na. Yung hindi magaling, pero hindi sintonado. Yung pwede lang. But, I learned the guitar nung 13 years old ako. Yung first song na I ever learned sa guitar is Ang Huling El Bimbo. Cute, no? Sabi ni Brian Bagorio, ano po ang team na gusto niyo sa Haikyuu? Okay, anime crushes naman. So, we're mahilig talaga ako sa anime tsaka sa manga, guys, since bata pa ako. I mean, nung Sailor Moon times pa. But of course, I grew up watching so, so many different animes. But yung mga favorites ko ngayon is Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma. Haikyuu, kasi nung High school volleyball varsity ako so relate na relate talaga ako dyan. and my hero academia ang ganda talaga at ang dami dami ko pang napapanood na animes guys but kung meron kayong suggestions go lang add ko sila sa list so i-comment niyo yan but favorite team ko sa high of course team Karasuno favorite character ko sa high is Suga kaya siya yung DP ko sa ML tungkol sa ML daw ano yung favorite ML characters mo or yung role ako sa lahat ng video games even not ML, may hindi talaga ako sa maid siya ka support. So, you'll usually see na I'll play Chang'e, Lilia, tsaka si Nana. Minsan mag-Angela, minsan mag-Farsa. Kung mag-MM ako, sige, Hannah B. Or kung magtatang ako, Lolita. Basta cute yung character. Yun yung gusto ko. <laughs> si Chucks Mago Ferreras. Gaano ka na katagal naglalaro ng ML? Actually, since college pa ako. So, mga 4 or 5 years pa. Pero guys, sineseryoso ko lang yung ML this year lang. So, maybe 6 months or 7, 8 months of playing na may intention na maging magaling. <laughs> As in, never pa ako nakapag-reach ng Mythic until this season. So, totoo lang. <laughs> Sabi ni John J. Lord for Titch, ganyan pa rin ba ang ugali mo kahit off ka? Nako po, guys. Kung kilala mo talaga ako, kung ikaw yung first viewer ko sa streams ko or friend ko in real life, for sure, 
alam niyo na no matter how many people are watching or how many people there are following, ganito pa rin ako, sobrang awkward ako, sobrang kalog, sobrang like, wah! But meron din times ako na gusto kong na quiet, introvert talaga ako. But I also love chatting with you guys. So, yeah, same pa rin ako, no matter what. I won't, I won't change. Alam naman yun ng pamilya ko din, yung mga friends ko na, ako lang to guys. <laughs> So, ang dami din akong questions tungkol sa love life ko. Naku po, anong ibig sabihin ng love life? Wala naman yun sa vocabulary ko. <laughs> Joke. Nagka-boyfriend na ako, but currently, yes, single ako. So, ang dami din nagtatanong kung ano yung hinahanap ko sa isang lalaki. Ano yung mga traits na gusto ko? Ano yung mga turn on and turn off? Ganon. Kasi 5-6 ako, gusto ko lang yung matangkad. Yung mas matangkad kesa sa akin. Yung mga... 5'9 and above. Para kahit naka-heels ako, mas matangkad pa rin siya, gets? Gusto ko na cute siya. Hindi naman kailangan na super guapo or model. Basta cute siya para sa akin. Of course, mabait. Yung honest. And I think yung pinaka-importante sa akin is respeto talaga sa babae. Like, respect in all ways. Nirespeto niya yung time ko. Alam niya na busy ako. Like, he'll give me that space. Hindi siya super clingy. Respeto sa mga pangarap ko who will support it and be there for me at nire-respeto niya ang sarili niya like gusto ko ng guy na maging confident at alam niya kung anong gusto niya I mean I'm not saying na kailangan mo alam ng lahat ng mga plans mo sa life mo but at least may goals ka or intention or ambition ka sa buhay mo I think yun talaga yung mahalaga is really knowing what you want and going for it I've always said na I'm not looking for love if it finds me then, okay. Kung hindi, okay lang din naman. So anyway guys, sana naman you learned a little bit more about me. Sorry kung nanose did kayo sa English ko. Tinatry ko talaga mag-Tagalog. But uh, every day I'm really trying to improve myself. Yung content ko. Sana na-enjoy nyo yan guys. Hindi ko sasayangin yung opportunidad na to. You know, so I really want to get to know you guys more. At sana naman. And guys, you know, parang sa relationship lang, dapat may give and take. Dapat balance, eh, di ba? So, kung mag -e effort ako sa'yo, sana naman mag -e effort din kayo para sa akin. And let's support each other. Let's go! So, how can you do that? Mag-subscribe lang kayo, guys. I-like mo ang video na to at itunog mo ang kampana kung gusto mong malaman kung kailan ang mga new YouTube videos ko. Once again, it's me, your girl, Oriana. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!